Hello. Welcome to 2021. I'm so excited. Ah, uh, what am I drawn to? Fire. Fire signs. Fire signs. Okay, fire signs. Fire signs, January 2021. Fire signs, January 2021. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Fire signs, fire signs, spirit. Last and Paz of D, watch over me during this reading. You all know how I see your read. Please help me interpret these cards as you see fit. What do you have coming in for my fire sign collective spirit for the month of January 2021? Fire signs 2021. Please and thank you, Spirit. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. You're telling me to look at one split. Knight of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Swords. Ooh. <sighs> Fire signs. Fire signs. Hmm. I really wanted to say someone's going to find out about your little, <laughs> your little fuck boy, fuck girl ways, right? <laughs> They're going to put a stop to it. That's kind of the energy I'm getting. You're not going to be able to swoop in and do your thing and swoop back out so fast. It's not going to be so passionate, right? It's like seeing the truth. Someone's seeing the truth in you or you're realizing that this shit don't work or this shit ain't going to work on everybody else. But it's like your fire's going to get dashed, okay? Either you're going to change your ways or someone's going to... And there's going to be enlightenment, okay? So if you like to do a lot of the playing around and shit, maybe your shit's going to get called out. Or you're just going to get found out that you've done as well, you know? So some, some, I think something's going to tap the brakes on this little passionate little energy of yours, okay? A very interesting energy. Uh, yeah, it's like the truth's gonna come out. Everyone's gonna know. Everyone's gonna know. Everyone's gonna know. People are gonna find out. Or you're getting clarity and what the fuck. Let's see what the hell the rest of the deck has to say. Wake this, wake this deck up, spirit. Nine of cups in reverse. Four of cups in reverse. Queen of pentacles in the upright. And the empress. Nine of Cups and Four of Cups. This is a lot of past regrets. Uh, someone didn't get what they wanted wish fulfillment wise. But uh, it's, it's like coming out of it. And with the Cups energy here, this is an emotional hit. Okay? Maybe that's why you've doused your uh, passionate ways, right? A little fuck boy, fuck girl energy. Maybe, maybe you took an emotional hit. Okay? Maybe you did. It happens, right? You meet someone and you think it's just going to be f sex. And then, oh shit, next thing you know, you're thinking of, you know, uh, pushing it forward. But it's kind of like it didn't work out. Because, you know, kind of when the player gets played, right? When your plan backfires. Where when you meet your match and it's like, shit. But it's coming out of this energy, coming out of this emotional. And that could definitely be with the clarity of like uh, maybe the, the past ways of just coming in and being all fiery and passionate, getting a start going. Maybe you've learned to tap your brakes on that because you got your little heart broken. I don't, I don't need to see the three of swords in reverse to see that this is heartache. You took an emotional hit on something. I didn't know when I initially seen these, I was thinking something nefarious. But you know what? I think you're focusing on your money and building yourself up. You're realizing your self-worth. Maybe before where you were just quick to put out. Male or female energy, guys. Okay. Male or female energy. This is just, you're bossing up. You're working on your money. Getting your shit together. Getting yourself balanced with the pentacle energy there. But empress status. You're learning your self-worth, right? You're learning your self-worth. You're being a little more picky as to, you know, wh where that wand goes, right? Or what wand you're accepting. You know what I mean? I'm loving this energy. I'm loving this energy for you guys. Definitely fire signs. Oh, we got a Leo that's falling in love with somebody. 
Y'all know Leos are a fun time, but them motherfuckers. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers. Oof. Y'all can fuck with a bitch. Y'all can fuck with a bitch. Now, this has either happened or this is coming up, okay? Someone's bossing up. Someone's someone's looking really good, okay? But I do have to note these five of pentacles in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse. This could be... This could be a loss in a relationship, like a financial loss, right? Maybe you lose a partner or a boyfriend or girlfriend that used to help pay rent that you cohabited together. Some, I think there's going to be a um, a financial hit uh, with the. Uh, we don't have the 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 court cards up here, so I don't know if this would be a divorce or a separation of some sort. But your money's going to change. Your money might take a hit. You're going to go from having ten on this tree to maybe down to five. So do be careful, but. I, I, you know about this. This isn't going to be a surprise. This is something you're dealing with. Probably dealing with the heartbreak. Whatever emotionally you've gone through that you're letting go of. Yes, that's what it is. Maybe the divorce goes through or that you fi finally are able to separate assets, whatever. You know, you sp split the belongings in the house. So you know about this. But just remember, okay? Okay. I really think that even even what you're going through, you're going to come out ahead, okay? It, it's going to feel like a setback. I hope you're in this energy, learning your self-worth. Y'all, I'm really feeling that because you knew this was coming. You kind of got it. You got it in your head. You, you dealt with it. You bossed up so you could handle this. Handle this shit with grace and dignity, okay? Handle it with grace and dignity because you've got this, okay? Because, oh, 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 <laughs> guys, you fell in love with somebody. You see who you want to work with. Or this is someone falling in love with you. Because you've been watching this person for a while. You just haven't been able to do anything about it. <laughs> the devil in the chariot. You're you're ready to get dirty and naughty again with somebody. Could very well be twins, okay? <laughs> Just go put it out there, right? Or this person might be like your ex. I'm going to put that out there, too, because the devil card's here. I want to believe this is just going to be, like, some good, fun, passionate sex. But, you know, let's just be a little cautious here. Anytime the devil shows up, we always got to, you know, pay attention, okay? The devil with the chariot as well. Uh, watch the maintenance on your vehicle. Uh, check your tires, tire pressure, check your oil. Don't run out of gas. Could very well be maybe some issues with the vehicle, okay? You know where you want to go. You're you're ending something, and, and, and it was hard. It's been a harsh ending, but you're you know. You've dealt with that. You've built yourself up. You're ready for your new start. It's like you've had this going. This has been on the back burner, just taking a sweet ass time. Then you've been kind of working on yourself. Now it's like officially sign the papers, do whatever the fuck you need to do, right? Because you're ready to go go after who you want. You're ready to go after who you want. Mm. The Hermit in reverse. Yeah, you're definitely ready to talk. The Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, child, that's in your favor. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe you owe somebody an apology. Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Ace of Wands. Ooh, the High Priestess in reverse. Mm. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Five of Cups. The Fool in reverse. And the Seven of Wands in the upright. Clarify this high high priestess, please. Why is this high priestess in reverse spirit? Please and thank you. Clarify this high priestess. Please and thank you, spirit.
you're a little scared moving forward. You are a little scared. Something's holding you back. Something's definitely holding you back. Clarify the hermit in reverse. You're definitely ready to you, to talk. You're ready to come out of conclu uh, con conclusion. Uh, it is a conclusion to something because you're ready to come out of uh, hiding. You're ready to come out of seclusion. That's what I was thinking. Seclusion, tip shit. Ah, oh, don't you hate when the words right there on the tip of your tongue? They don't want, they don't want, they don't want. I was going to ask what, what this conversation was going to be about. They don't want us to know. It's like, spirit here is saying it's a surprise. But the will of fortune is definitely going to turn in your benefit, okay? Y'all, I'm really not drawn to clarify anything else here. This is pretty straightforward. Okay? You're, you're ready to come out. You're ready to talk. We've seen that. The bat. You're, you're, you're free. You're free to communicate, do whatever the hell you want to do, right? You're not tied anymore. You're ready for that wheel of fortune to spin in your benefit, and it will. I think you definitely owe somebody an apology from the past. But you are just too fucking proud to make it, Okay? Maybe someone that, you know, you fell out of partnership with or someone that you, you know, lost touch with. Uh, a friend that you might have lost along the way. A co-worker. Someone that you had a, a relationship with that you lost contact with, right? And this could be work, love, life. Not necessarily love. This is just a long-standing connection that you had with somebody that didn't, uh, it just kind of fell to the wayside. But you're getting inspired. This is the thing. Ace of Wands here. You're getting that spark back. You're getting that energy. Because remember in the pre-shuffle, we had the Knight of Wands in reverse. You kind of lost your mojo for a hot minute, right? You got some clarity, maybe in the way you acted, the way you do things. And you kind of you, you, you kind of calmed your tits for a hot minute. And you just sat on your hands instead of, you know, doing whatever or whoever. But you're getting inspired again. Uh, the High Priestess in Reverse, this is the only thing that really kind of threw me. Because the High Priestess in Reverse is someone not trusting their instincts, someone not vibing high. And I haven't looked at these, so we're going to see these together, right? Because we got the Magician, the Queen of Cups in Reverse, Judgment in the Upright, and the King of Swords in Reverse. I'm not, this energy causes me pause because you haven't communicated. You're, you're still, you still got some, some emotional ties to somebody, you know, maybe it could have been a third party situation, something that has blocked any communication and movement forward. And you know, when you come, if you even tried to have this communication with somebody, they're going to be guarded as fuck, or you're going to be guarded as fuck because this right here is just regrets. These four cards right here are just regrets, and some are going to be on the defensive. But even on the defensive, this person might be wearing a mask. There's going to be some shit that you're not going to see, or you're not going to see the truth in this person, or someone coming towards you or who you're dealing with. So this energy is defensive. Someone feels like they can't move forward. They're still hung the fuck up. As we go from the Seven of Wands to the Eight of Wands in reverse. Someone knows they can't communicate. Now, with the high priestess here in the reverse and the magician in the upright, someone could very well be trying to fuck with your energy, okay? Someone could very well be trying to fuck with your head because we got the high priestess there in reverse. We got the magician. What's this magician manifesting? Queen of Cups in reverse, judgment, and the king of swords. Well, someone wants to come back. Someone wants a reconciliation between this Queen of Cups and this King of Swords, but the Queen of Cups uh, has done cut off emotion. The King of Cups, uh, he can't communicate. He don't know what the fuck to say. But someone wants to come back. But I don't, I don't like these two energies together. Is it going to be for good? There's a, whatever someone's manifesting could be good. Someone wants a reconciliation, right? But the fact we have the high priestess here, this is just, could very well be some negative 
energy being put towards this to 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 manipulate it. I'm just getting like some manipulation that might not be good, okay? Because at the end of the day, you, you, uh, there's going to be a defense. Yeah, if these two get together, this Queen of Cups in reverse and this King of Swords in reverse, oh, you can bet your ass if there's any conversation, y'all going to be fucking guarded. Now, what I'm thinking is maybe there's some emotion here and neither one of you want to discuss it. So you're both going to be wearing masks. So if you're going to have that conversation, let daddy tell you here. If you got some emotions and you really fucking love this person, you really want this person, your ass better just lay it on the line, okay? If you're having this conversation with somebody and you're done with them, you're not interested, you don't want nothing to fucking do with them, be honest with them, okay? Just nip this shit in the butt, okay? Because y'all going to be defensive. There's there's a lot of healing and shit that needs to still be done with this. But until you let the fucking guard down and both of you all show up being in the same energy and in the same frame of mind and not being so fucking defensive, you're not going to be able to make it work. And that high priestess could be an outside source trying to prevent uh, uh, two people coming into union. Because at the bottom of this deck, we got the Empress and the Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, I didn't see that shit. Okay, we got the Queen of Swords here in reverse, and that's a match to our King of Swords in reverse. Someone's villain left out in the cold, and the Empress here in reverse. Y'all, that's husband wifey material, Emperor Empress energy, right? If someone, well, we know someone's separating from somebody, okay? Someone's separating. Whether the divorce is final or y'all just finally, you know, moving your separate ways, detaching. But we definitely got an energy here. Someone that's feeling left out in the cold. And you know what? I'm thinking it's the one that's being left while someone moves towards someone new. Ooh, y'all. I know that's it. The one that's being left behind, whoever you're moving away from, is not happy. They did not want to lose you, or you did not want to lose them. So, that's what this is all about. Uh, you got to do what you got to do, okay? You do what you got to do. If you got to sever the ties with the past and move the fuck on, then that's what you need to do. Because the Empress was with the up, in the upright at the beginning of the spread when we read the bottom of the deck. Someone is just, you know, someone ain't going to be happy with the decision at the end. And there ain't really much you can do about that. Wherever you want to go, whatever you're wanting to put your time and energy into, whatever is sparking, this is where you need to go. You need to just forget the past, okay? I don't care how much you love them. If you're separating from them, they need to go. You just sever ties, man. Cut the head off that fucking snake. Woo! Peace, love, and light, fire signs. Happy 2021!